Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our paint program, um, which, uh, like I said before, comes from the book Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 uh, by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom, uh, published by ROX. So I just want to give them full credit. Um, and if you don't know what this is, um, then you may want to go ahead and move back uh, to the first tutorial to where we start building this program. Uh, otherwise, you might get lost. So we have our must inherit class graphics item with our color is filled and rectangle. So let's just go ahead and make some public methods or subs. Subs can also be referred to as methods. If you didn't already, already know that, uh, you may have been confused in some of my previous tutorials when I called subs methods. So we'll create public must override sub draw this is going to take some arguments so we're going to need by val graphics as graphics so they're going to need to pass a graphics object to this draw sub now you can see that it says must override so what this means is that every class that inherits from grass graphics item uh, must override the sub draw so they must have um, another draw sub for themselves or else they will get an error and they won't be able to compile um, so what this does is it lets uh, let's say you make a um, a couple classes from graphics items you have a different draw for each one of those but if you create a um, a variable a type graphics item um, in your form 1.vb um, and it is used polymorphism to use, let's say, graphics circle. If you call graphics your graphics cir circle object dot draw, um, it's going to run because graphics item also has draw. Now, if that confuses you a little bit, um, that's perfectly fine. Um, you'll learn about more about that later on. We've done that in some previous tutorials. Uh, polymorphism is a simple concept, but sometimes it can get pretty confusing. Um, so don't worry about it right now if you don't understand that. So let's go ahead and create another sub. So public sub set point. Now all this is going to do is it's going to set the point um, where of where we're going to draw our circle. So this is going to take some arguments. So we're going to need the x position, and we're going to use it an integer, and then by val y as integer. And we're going to need the graphics size. So by val graphics size as integer. And then we're going to need the color. So by val graphics color as color. And then we're going to do um, graphics is filled. So by val graphics is filled as boolean okay so now we're going to set the we're going to create the rectangle um, that we declared up here so we've got public rectangle as a rectangle now when we create a rectangle we're going to have to make an object of it so we're going to say rectangle equals new rectangle so we're creating a new rectangle object and this is going to take some arguments now what we're going to use is we're going to use um, the x position, the y position, and the width and the height, which is the second of the two options uh, for creating a rectangle object. So we're going to use x, which is passed right here, and we're going to subtract it. We're going to subtract it. Um, we're going to subtract graphic size. divided by 2 from it. So let's just make sure it's graphics size. So it's going to be x minus graphics size uh, divided by 2. So it's going to take our, our point x and it's going to take away the size of the graphics which um, is we haven't created yet. I believe it's going to be an enumeration um, that's going to have either like medium, small, or large. 
So this math right here is a little complicated. You don't really have to know how it works. Um, you can play around with this number right here divided by 2 uh, and see what it does. Uh, so basically what it does is, I'll try to explain it the best I can. Instead of when you click, it's going to draw a circle uh, down. Like when you clicked in our previous video with the square, it created it at the top left corner of the square and everything went down um, and to the right from that. Well, what this algorithm right here does is it makes it so when you click, you're clicking in the middle of where the circle's going to go instead of the top left corner. So we're going to do that for the Y as well. So Y minus graphic size divided by 2. So this is going to do the same thing to where you're clicking in the middle of where the graphics is going to be drawn uh, instead of the top left corner. And then we're going to do for the width, we're going to do graphic size. And then for the height, we'll do graphic size. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us uh, a perfect circle each time. So let's say graphic size is equal to, let's say, uh, 10. This one is also going to be 10. So it's going to be a 10 by 10 rectangle. Um, and when you draw a circle inside of that 10 by 10 rectangle, which is a square, you're going to get a perfect circle. And now, if you didn't use uh, the same sizes right here, you would get what's called an ellipse. And we don't want to have to deal with that. So we're just going to be making um, a bunch of circles by using the same graphic size. So we have our set point, our x position, our y position, the graphic size, and we're going to have the graphics color, which is a type color, and then the is filled, uh, which checks to see um, well, which tells this set point um, if it's going to be filled or not. So go ahead and put this code in if you haven't already. Um, and before we're done, we're going to have to add uh, two more things to this uh, sub. So we're going to set color, our variable color up here, equal to graphic color. And we need to change this to graphics color. So it's going to set our color variable equal to whatever they pass to set point. So that color will be updated to the new color. And is filled is going to be equal to graphics is filled. So it's going to update the is filled, is filled boolean um, to the new one that is passed to our set point. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to monitor these and solve as many problems as I can. It might be a little hard with 200 videos. Um, so just be patient. And once you're done putting this code in, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.